The keys and pad module consist of three different interfaces that can all send MIDI notes to live and other applications running on your computer. By default, the isomorphic keyboard is shown. You can switch to a traditional keyboard or drum pad by pressing the corresponding buttons on the sidebar. In full screen mode, you can either maximize one of the interfaces or show two different interfaces at the same time. The isomorphic keyboard is a matrix of notes in C major by default. Each row is separated along the musical scale by a fourth, enabling you, for instance, to play three finger chords like a guitar. In in key mode, the isomorphic keyboard will filter out all notes that are not included in the currently activated scale. If you switch to chromatic mode, all notes are shown, even those that are not included in the current scale. Each of the interfaces have five optional views that can be shown or hidden in the bottom bar. The octave selector and the scales menu are shown by default. The other optional views include velocity options, note repeats and a pitch wheel. Let's start with the octave selector. To switch the current octave, move the slider up or down. Easy enough. Now, let's switch the current scale. Tap a different scale in the scale menu and watch how the isomorphic grid changes. Change the root note. If fixed is activated, the root note of the scale will be positioned in the lower left corner of the grid. If it is deactivated, the notes on the keys shift so that the bottom left pad always plays the root of the selected key. To change the velocity of the notes, let's open the velocity option view by tapping the button in the bottom bar. You can choose between global and range velocity. In global mode, each note played will have the velocity that is currently selected with the fader in the velocity menu. In range mode, the keys will adjust their velocity to the position of the touch. The lower you hit the key, the higher the velocity will be. The keys will show stronger feedback if the note played has a higher velocity. Let's switch to the traditional keyboard. By default, one complete octave is shown. You can increase this number to up to four octaves by pitching the octave selector with two fingers. If a scale is selected, the keys corresponding to the notes of the scales will turn blue. In in-key mode, only the keys of the scales are shown in the keyboard. Bring up the pitch wheel to pitch bend the currently played notes. There is one more option hidden in the bottom bar. The aftertouch. Activate it and play a key. Keep holding the key and slowly move your finger up and down. The feedback of the key changes with the aftertouch value. In live, you can activate aftertouch by using the Max for Live expression control device and map it to a parameter. The third interface available is the drum pads. 
They do not have access to the scales view, but they do have another specialty. If the currently selected track has drum pads available, the drum pad module will show the sample names for each key. And if you want to replace any slot in the drum wrap with a sample, a sound or an instrument from your live library, you can access the browser and drag and drop them directly onto the drum pads to load them in the corresponding slot. The note repeat options give you three different ways to repeat the notes that you are playing. Hold mode repeats the notes as long as you keep pressing them. They keep repeating if you change the interval with the slider. In toggle mode, they will keep repeating until you press them again. You can change their interval by changing the slider that appears inside the drum pad. In mixed mode, notes will toggle to repeat if you press them quickly, or repeat momentarily if you press the key for a longer while. <laughs> 